Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Are you looking for a bit of kitchen inspiration? If you are, make sure you check out ProChefGearPlus.com. They've got aprons and chef coats and hats and spices and marinades and cookbooks and even knives. Go on, get some cool knives from them. If you want to get a 15% discount off your order of $50 or more, use discount code Kimberly from Cooking with Kimberly. Kimberly, that's K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y. Make sure you get on out there, check out what they've got, be a champion in your kitchen. ProChefGearPlus.com. Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and this is how you caramelize onions. I'm going to show you how to caramelize onions. I'm making French onion soup tonight and I want to know, I want to make sure you guys know how to do this. It's an important skill to know. So on my, on my stove I have a large frying pan and I'm putting it on low heat just to start heating up a little bit with two tablespoons of some nice olive oil. Beautiful. So I'm just going to let that heat up quickly while I am going to slice these up. Now, the key to slicing veggies is using a very sharp knife, in my opinion. So make sure that your knife is nice and sharp. Make sure you wipe off your knife afterwards so that you have no extra particles there. So, you know, metal particles. Okay, I'm taking, I'm going to use two onions. I'm only doing a couple servings of this, like two or three, and that's what I'm doing. So I only need like two onions. Now, when I do French onion soup, I like to do my onions in rings, okay? So they're nice, long, stringy. That's what makes it fun to me, I think. So I remember eating this as a child, and it was one of the most fun soups ever. Plus, it had all cheese, and you know how kids love cheese. Now, I'm going to remove these outer skins because I don't want that or need it. I can put it in broths and things like that to darken the color, the onion skins, believe it or not. Make sure you skin them out though. But they impart a really nice rich color and a nice flavor to your broths, okay? Cool, it's a nice little trick my mom taught me. Okay, so my skin's gone. Now I'm just going to slice this onion into huge rings and that's why it's important to use a sharp knife so you don't slip and cut yourself. The more pressure that you have to use with your knife, if it's dull, the more likelihood you are to slip and cut your finger. Okay, so use a sharp knife. Now this is a Mercer Renaissance knife. This is from ProChefGearPlus.com. Make sure you check them out. They have awesome um, cooking stuff, cooking equipment. Um, if you use the discount code Kimberly, you'll get 15% off your order of $50 or more. Now I'm just slicing these as uniformly as possible into huge rings, okay? And I'm going to do that for both onions, and we'll be right back. Okay, so my onions are done, and I haven't cried. I don't mind cutting onions. It's not that bad. Okay, you may think that this is a heck of a lot of onions, and I'm only cooking for two people. But when these caramelize up and they lose most of this moisture, you're going to have, like, this much left after it's all, like, caramelized and beautiful and pretty. So that's going to be beautiful and just enough to fit in... Both of these, I would think. This is my estimate. So these are two nice, large white onions. You can use any kind of onion you want. You can use yellow onions. You can use red onions. Whatever experiment you love it, okay? So into my pan go these all of these onions. Except one that's going to fall on the floor. And you're going to stir these around, and I'm going to explain what's going to happen with these guys. Now, this is on the low heat. This is a medium low heat right now. I'm actually going to probably turn it up to medium until this pan is fully at the right temp. So check it out. Low and slow, that is the key. To caramelize means you are getting the sugars to brown and make it all caramely as you slow cook these this, this vegetable, right? Onions have a lot of sugar in them, and when they get cooked and when you let it go, they get all nice and sweet. Okay, and they turn brownish, and, and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. They're not so raw and abrasive. Um, they're actually very mellow and nice. They don't hurt your stomach as much. They're not, they don't wreck your breath and all that good stuff, okay? So this is a great way to do onions if you're not crazy about all the things that onions carry with it, like bad breath, okay? Caramelize them. Make sure that you go long enough. This could take up to an hour. Like, just know that and relax. I know it's onions, and you're going to be like, oh my goodness, it's just onions. But the actual dish is called French onion soup. It's the entire point is to get your onions proper, properly cooked, and gorgeous, and ready to go, fully caramelized, okay? 
So into this pan, I have just the olive oil, those two onions, and I'm gonna put salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna use um, really cool pepper and really cool salt. These are from Drogaria. And uh, this is a four pepper mill, and this is a red wine sea salt mill. It actually has red wine. The salt is like purpley. Very, very cool, okay? And into here goes my pepper, and that's it. You're going to re-season at the end anyway, but that's just gonna get it started. The salt is going to start leaching some of the liquid out from those onions, and you're going to be a happy, happy. So get ready, sit tight, put a movie on, and stir them, you know, you don't have to sit here the whole time and babysit them, but make sure it stays on low. You keep moving them around, and they're gonna be nice and golden brown. You'll see what they look like in a little while. Hi everybody. All right, so we're back now, and we've been doing this for about an hour, coming back, stirring a little up, making sure it's on a nice low heat, browning nicely, and all that good stuff. This is done. Turn that off. This is done now, and I have a beautiful amount for some French onion soup that I'm about to make too, so make sure you tune into that next recipe video, and you'll see how to make the French onion soup, and you'll be able to also search how to make the beef stock that I use for the French onion soup. Got me? All right. So these look awesome. I'm going to show you what they look like. This is what I mean. They're nice and golden brown. Okay. Not burnt. You don't want them to get burnt, charred, anything like that. That's why you want to go nice, low and slow. That's very important. If you burn onions, they get really, really bitter and you're going to be so miserable. It's going to be tasteless, bad, taste, bad. not tasteless, but terrible taste. Like you really don't want to do that. Go low and slow. I'm sorry it takes so long. I mean, you can add some wine in here if you want. And let it reduce in there with the, with the onions as you go. You can also put a pat of butter in there if you want to. Sky's the limit. Make sure you taste test. Make sure they're nice. You can put this on steak. You can put this on poutine. You can put this, shoot, in soups and stews and all kinds of nice stuff. You can put this on sandwiches. You can sprinkle this on your salad. Caramelized onions, man. Serious business, serious business. You could probably put chocolate on it, it would taste good. Hmm, I bet it would. Anyways, yeah. all right everybody, that's how you'd caramelize onions. Enjoy those, put them on a burger, some hot dog, sausage, oh, some bouche. Put it on the bouche, mom. Oh, fried potatoes, okay, omelets. <gasps> Burritos. Oh, all right. Bye. I'm going to go now. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. I hope you watch my shows. They're on YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is Cooking with Kimberly.com. Come enjoy the recipes. I hope you try them out. Learn how to do all kinds of cool stuff. All right, everybody? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. I was killing me. Division D with another. I shake from the thought, it makes you want to get a Glock Bust a man nine times like his name is Tupac But no, I'll let you go Because I know if I let you go This love will grow within your soul And your soul is where I plan to be Cause one day, it may be many moons for now But baby, you'll be my lady